Hi everybody, it's me, the person that, I don't know, usually you refer to me as the person with the million dollars with the makeup and the nice eyebrows. I don't have any makeup on right now, and uh, I don't care. So, you're probably wondering, like, why is she in the buying cells again? Well, that's the point, and there's a reason for it, and... I'm thinking, why not be me the person to address this, since all of you out there in the greater Moncton area have watched me over the past year and a half lose it over this exact thing I'm going to talk about, which is, you know, online bullying, harassment, cyberbullying, shaming, whatever the case may be, right? Yeah, I used to be, you know, I've learned. I've gotten help. Yeah. I've gotten professional help just simply because I already had, you know, mental health issues as in borderline personality disorder and there was also high functioning autism in there, so I have to learn things. But the thing is is that you can learn if you want to. But I'm going to get to other things after. I have a tendency to not say things in the right way or in the right order and I get people confused. <laughs> Working on that too. I've got notes and I'm following them. But why am I putting this in the buy and sell? Because yes, in the buy and sell groups, shaming and harassment and this isn't the place for it. This is where you sell things and you buy things. And I am guilty of that exact same thing. But I've learned to never do it again. So having any kind of mental illness isn't a free pass to be an asshole. It isn't. It doesn't change the fact that I, I did not act correctly in the past. However, I have now learned that those are bad. So if I do it again, then I'm clearly definitely the jerk and deserve whatever hatred comes my way because I know better now. So that's just what I'm saying. You can learn, you can change. However, there's another part to this. Some people are jerks because they like it. And you know what? That's perfectly fine. If that's the type of person that you want to be, fine. I had to learn that. There's some people out there, that's just how they are. Nothing wrong with that. That's just them. That's their personality. And I'm the one that has to learn to adapt to it. There's 8 billion people on this planet. Are they all going to change? Because I? No. No. I think you all know where I'm getting to. I have to learn to fit in with all of you. And that goes for everybody else in the world. If anybody else is out there that you're offended by things and things hurt your feelings, you have to figure out, you know, is it worth it? Is it what not? Because guess what? Being offended is a choice. I know. Who would have thought, right? You're the one that decides if you want to be offended by something or not. It took me a long time to learn that and I worked on it and I am still working on it. But there's a reason why I'm addressing it today. Because I have found on the internet, and I'm gonna focus more on Facebook, there are groups out there that you can join that are called shaming groups. That's their whole entire thing. They're there to be jerks. So for everybody else that's out there that's cynical, because it turns out that I'm a little bit like that too. Nothing wrong about it. There's groups specifically for that. That's what they're for. And when you sign up, there's rules and they ask you questions. And yes, it's, it's clearly put out there that, you know, if you're going to post anything in here, get ready for the hate because this is what it's all about. So those groups are where that's supposed to be. And buy and sell? No, no. That's not should be there. Why I'm posting this here. However, and the discussion groups like Ask Moncton and there's probably others, I just don't know their name. Shaming and bullying, you know, that's perfectly fine. I know, it sounds weird because I was the one screaming about it, right? Yeah. I didn't know then. 
I know better now. And for all of those out there who aren't aware or didn't know, that's fine. It's a discussion group, which means people are allowed to put their opinions. And yeah, opinions, guess what? Everybody can have them. An opinion is free. You can have your opinion. There's a difference between an opinion and a fact. And when it comes to opinions, you don't have to like somebody else's opinion. Doesn't change the fact that it's theirs. And they're allowed to have it. If you don't like it, you can choose to have a discussion about it. Or you can just move on. I know. I learned that too. And another thing that I have recently learned or figured out or knew, I don't know. Two people can be friends and have a difference of opinions on certain subjects and still be friends. You just don't talk about that certain subject. Just don't bring it up. Hey, what a concept, right? Just don't say anything. Me, all right? This person learned that, meaning others can as well. And then it still falls down to the point that some people don't want to change and that's okay. That's what they are. Learn to deal with them. If there's people out there that keep saying things or there's a group that you're in that keeps saying things and hurting your feelings, then guess what, Snowflake? You leave the group. The group isn't the problem. Don't go reporting the group to Facebook about stuff. I mean, unless they go too far, like the one time they had a whole, you know, thread about how they would do things to me sexually and junk me in the back like an old car. That was a little too far. But everything else, if the group isn't making you happy, then you leave. Because if there's a thousand something other people in there and you have a problem, you know, one to a thousand, think about it, you're the problem. You leave. Let them do their thing. I know. Isn't this foreign coming from me? Yep. People can learn. People can change. I'm still learning. I'm still trying to better myself. And I've also learned the difference between constructive criticism and an actual insult. Some of it has to do with the fact that I do have autism going on in there, which isn't an excuse again. But now I do have trusted friends that I'm like, hey, somebody told me this comment. Are they just trying to like snap me out of it? Or are they being rude or did I deserve it? Ha, huh. another point. You have to ask yourself sometimes when you're getting these, these comments that you know hurt your feelings, that you think are harassment or shameful or whatever. You have to ask yourself, did I actually ask for this? Because sometimes I did, straight off, I'll admit it now. In my case, I have a very hard time expressing what I'm thinking in my head. Now, what comes out of my mouth or what I type out, sometimes, well, in the past was pretty much all the time, but now again, I have help. I'll ask a friend, you know, phone a friend. So what I thought I was saying wasn't what the rest of the world was interpreting because the problem was me. My communication skills weren't where I'm still working on those again. I have no problem with somebody being, and they have. You guys are very, very nice. This, this is, again, good people. There's good people in Moncton. Um, some people will tell me, like, D did you mean to say this? Because that's what I, I understand. And then we'll have time to talk about it and correct things. So in a way, I already know that there's a lot of you out there that have realized that I'm working on myself. And thank you for accepting me and thanking me for that. However, there are groups out there, they're called shaming groups, and there's one for every single thing you can possibly imagine. And I've joined a few of them. Some of them go a little too far for my personal liking. So what do I do? I just quietly leave the group. Oh, we need that like, Oh, music. I'm not good enough <laughs> with editing it to add that in here. But not the point, okay? Yeah, you just 
it was just too much for me. So I just left and didn't say anything. There's others that I like. <clears throat> I stay in them. So this all comes from this one post. So it's a shaming group. We're shaming people's nails, right? I usually, sometimes I do mine. And it's clearly written. If you're going to post something, get ready for the hate. Because it's coming. Because that's the whole point of this group. And some person got very upset that they were getting negative things. And then they wrote a whole spiel on the way out, you know, totally typically me. <laughs> Last year, before, no judging. I'm simply saying this is what happened in the group. But this person went a little bit too far. And it's where I'm going to put it out here because what they did was illegal and I don't want anybody here to get in trouble, all right? On their message to the way out, they said that they went through the whole group to find everybody's profile and they looked through everybody's profile and found their names, if they could get their real names, and their employer. And they were planning on making a big YouTube video exposing all these people as, okay, whatever. You know where I'm going. That's illegal. You can't creep somebody that way. And yes, employers aren't supposed to go look at your Facebook profile before you apply for a job, but nothing really stops them from doing it. So maybe you might not want to have things public that you don't want a potential employer to see. Maybe you don't care. None of my business. And another little tip about trying to get a job is your voicemail message. If you're very comfortable with your job, leave a funny one, be, be silly. But if you're waiting for a potential employer to call you back for like an interview or something, kind of leave it a little bit professional because sometimes if they hear this very immature or whatever voicemail, <laughs> they might just be like, you know what? I ain't gonna hire this person, even though you may be completely qualified. And with the voicemail part, I mean, you can change your voicemail every day. So if you just wanna change it for that time while you're waiting for the employer to call you back and then put in a funny thing, go for it. I mean, I can't tell people what to do, just tidbits. But again, those are opinions in those groups. And that person went a little bit too far. And as someone who is on YouTube, has a platform, um, yeah, there, there's rules. And even if she wanted to upload that video, it would never get published because they go through things and they won't let that kind of stuff on there. But that's still not the point. You can't stalk people if you don't like what they're saying to you. Mostly when you look at the fact of where you're posting your information it comes back to the buy and sell and buy and sell we should be posting you know what i'm buying what i'm selling you know things of articles that have anything to do with that but calling out people on personal things and all those other things no that's not where this goes however there's one little tiny exception and this is only my personal opinion. And it's kind of what I'm going to leave you with. When people are asking for things for free, I know a lot of people hating me on that one because I cannot join any paid forward group. Oops. Any paid forward group anymore whatsoever. Fine. It's okay. When people are asking for things for free, yes, some people need help. Definitely. Definitely, definitely do. And I'm one of the, I give away so many things. Right now, I'm finally moving. So thanks very much, Sherry Lynn. She helps me out with things because this apartment building is just, and I'm not going to air my dirty laundry about it, but it's not a nice environment to be in. So I'm finally getting out of here. Hmm. So yes, some people do need things for free. They're going to ask for them. And sometimes, I feel like we should kind of ask ourselves a little bit first. Why do you need so many things? Um, 
there's circumstances that make total sense. I've left a really bad relationship. You know, I've, I'm starting out on my own. You don't need more explanations. You don't need to say, you know, I'm recovering from whatever or all that kind of stuff. But if you go back and you check the person's profile, like I've done before, and see that they have perfect, they have a whole apartment full of furniture. They just did not choose to move it with them to their new place and they're now asking for everything for free to refurnish their house. I personally don't think that's what paid for it is for. But that's up to you guys, you know? If you want to give your things away to whoever you want, that's your choice. So I'm no longer there. I was a little bit angry when I couldn't be in there, but now that I understand, I'm okay. I give things away sometimes. I've got a bunch of stuff for sale because again, I'm moving out, getting rid of things I don't need. And yes, my prices are negotiable, but we're not gonna sell my stuff here, that's the point. Point is, think for yourselves. And yes, think about where you're posting it. If you're posting it in a buy and sell, it's supposed to be buy and sell. So if somebody is attacking you personally, then yes, you can report it to the admin. If you're in a discussion group where people can talk about whatever the heck they want, it's free game, by the way. They can say whatever they want. And if you ask something that's going to ruffle feathers or that's going to push people's buttons, you asked for it. Yes, I asked for a lot of the hate that I got. Did I handle it correctly? Not at the time. Didn't know how. I do now. Not the point. Point is, I learned, moved on. Those things are in the past. They ain't hurting me no more. And if any of you catch me doing that again, you can definitely call me on it because I've learned and I should know better. With that, I'm going to leave you all go with being offended as a choice. You also have the choice to just keep scrolling. You don't like what someone's saying? Just move on by. Karma is a real thing. It'll come back. Just, just let them be. Let them be. And if you do think that you really need to put your two cents in there, be prepared that the things that come back from your two cents might not be what you want it to be. And that is all on you. So if you can't handle what's coming back, don't put it in there. Thanks.